support Cleveland Medicine hanging out with fucking Olathea. How you guys doing? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, support Cleveland Medicine. Awesome. Ow. Can any of you guys say your name and what you do in the band? Steve Guitars. Shelly Bass. Chris Oko. Jake Guitar. Jeff Drums. Ethan. Brody. Brody. First of all, that was an awesome set. That was like kick ass, and that was awesome. It felt good, man. It felt good. I had to sweat my ass. It's been on. You guys have a new album out. How was the process for that? Um, surprisingly, not as long as we thought it would be. Anyway, we've really only been together about a year, and uh, everything came together pretty quick. And uh, we've been busting our ass, but it's really uh, it's been working out. We've got a lot of good shows. We have a lot of good shows coming up, so. Cool. Those some regional stuff? Yeah. 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 Okay. And the process for writing is just, you know, people bringing ideas or just jamming or still kind of figuring out their process and exploring different things. So. We mainly steal Barry Manilow riffs. And then make <laughs> I know, I know. Some distortion. You even call it riffs? Though. Yeah. <laughs> and then we call Gene Hackman for advice. Hunters used to be Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> we just changed like a few notes. Yeah. Instead, instead of saying Mandy, we say Hunters. Like I said, yes. Mandy. Yeah, that was yeah, back when Jake used to wear pink tights. <laughs> <laughs> you know, CC the bill type stuff. There you go. Support Cleveland Metal Scene! Woo! <laughs> yeah. How supportive are your families and your band and your music? Totally. How much of an influence are yeah. they? Absolutely. Very much. 600% roughly. Amazing. <laughs> wow. Awesome. I don't know that, man. Roughly. <laughs> this is my son right here. His name's Ethan. Like he's he totally supportive. He's coming That's what I'm talking about. Ethan Rocks. Awesome. Awesome. This is his buddy yeah, Hunter. They're does. big helps. Big helps. <laughs> They rock. Yeah. That is yeah. awesome. That's yes. really cool. No, I mean, anything that we do, we couldn't do without our family and friends. You know, people do so much behind the scenes to help us out. And a lot you, know, you can't do this without that. And uh, we really appreciate it. We, you know, do our best to show love and make sure that when we perform, we perform our hearts out because they've supported us and worked so hard for that, too. Actually, so, I think if you look at our CD, like, there's a thank you section. I think each and every one of us thank our families. Yep. Like, oh, that was like, yeah, that was the biggest thing. Yep. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, real quick, they'll never see this, but hey, here's to Lauren, Val, Liz, and Jill. Thank you for all your support. We're going to see it, but you just said it when the bus drove by. They won't hear it. Maybe that was good. I don't know. <laughs> Get out of here, I'm on it. No, and, and I think, like, like Jake, just like what you guys do, too, you we have a support team behind you, people that believe in it yep. and give you opportunities. You know, and, and Cleveland, I think, is really known for that, embracing people in a lot of different things that they do. We're not Michigan. Photographers, <laughs> from the photographers to the music to the arts, you know, whatever it is. So, so I think we're pretty fortunate in Cleveland All to have our groups. friend support and just to have our families, you know, wow, that's cool. We're lucky. Sometimes I get a little angry metal. when you practice many times per week, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make dinner on practice oh, nights, damn it! No, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> you get a pizza. What barbecue? Cool. Why do you guys? Well, why do you guys think society blames musicians? Well, uses musicians as a scapegoat when something bad happens. Misinformation. It's easy. <laughs> See, yeah, it's it, misinformation. And it's easy. Um, you always look to what you don't understand, and you always look for an easy scapegoat. I mean, whether it's video games, violent movies, or, or music, um, you're going to pick what isn't necessarily quite mainstream and what necessarily doesn't fit with the morale of the time or whatever, and you're going to blame it on that. Um, and, and it doesn't, doesn't put any validity to it. Though. No, and I think what those people don't get, they, because it's like hard and angry, and you don't look like you're, you know, cookie cutter, you know, making the cookies next door or whatever that they feel that um, it's automatically bad, like you said, there's no validity to that. And um, Also stop by our bake sale next door. <laughs> <laughs> the brownies. You know, it's just Recommend a, the brownies. It's an easy thing for them to jump onto, and what they don't realize is having something so like hard can be some of the best things when you're feeling the worst. Because you need that release, Sorry, and you need to be able to... Oh, no problem. And you just, you need to be, you need that release, and you need to be able to have something that does that. And people don't get how music can be that way, especially metal and other hardcore stuff. We get it. I have to release the shit.
to like right now. If I wanted to express my anger, I'd use your tripod. <laughs> <laughs> but see, we're not that angry. We'd replace the camera, but we're not that Take angry. the one with the silver camera. It's a lot heavier. <laughs> but you know what, too? Like she was saying, it's like when we go up there and lay it down, it's all coming from here, you know? And I believe it goes there, too. You know, people perceive that. You know, and they can take that in any direction they want to. Yeah. Yep. Cool. We're here to yeah. have special moments with special people that enjoy what we're doing, and we, we enjoy doing what we're doing, and everybody just have a good time. That's what it's all about. Everybody have a good time. Fun life. Forget about any problems you got in the world. Yes, sir. Just metal it up and be the people that are into it. Just be yourself. That's what it's all about. Yes, Anybody, any person, be yourself. And metal, just like, like the biker scene and all that, it, it's accepting of everybody. And that's like the first person that'll help you if you're broken down on the side of the road, too. Mm -hmm. You know? So... My casa is a casa. Yeah. Cool. You know, so I'm staying there for like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick up your casa. Were you going to say anything? You can say something. Yeah, go ahead, please. Like, How does like, it make no, you feel? Like, what do you think about the music? How does it make you feel? He got today? turned on to it pretty recently. And he was totally all about it. He's like, Ed, we're going. <laughs> going to your show. What's your next one? So I told him, all right, sister, say, come on down. He's like, all right. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, my son came out and saw us at Bike Week. Probably the only person I saw headbang his butt off was my kid, and he listens to Maroon 5, so that's what I got to say. We got it in his skull. Yeah, we got it in his brain. He's like, hey, I found something I like about your band. And he's like, <laughs> being part of Cleveland's class. Oh! Awesome! Josh, you <laughs> What do you feel, Olivia? Oh, oh my God! Olivia, <laughs> Olivia brings out more than any other band. Now is the time to say know. how awesome your band is. I don't, I don't know if we do anything better than any other band or bring anything out more than any other band. It's just, uh, and I, actually, I, I, I would say that's probably farthest from our focus. It's more what it, just what we do and what we feel at the time. Yeah, whatever the fuck we feel like, and. Uh, Come out with us. Yeah. You're gonna have a good time. Yeah. That's it. We're gonna hang with you. We're gonna have brews with you. We're gonna talk to you. We're just gonna have a politician. Yeah. And, and for know. my next two terms, there's, you I'm know not what? kissing any fucking babies. There's, so. al there's always somebody better and there's always somebody worse. And I never feel like I'm in competition with anybody because it's all about, hey, what do you want to do? What do you want to have fun with? What do you want to push yourself with as a group? You know, it's not like you against anybody else. So. It's more of a take it or leave it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, just, dig it cool if not. Yeah. yeah. What, what kind of image cool do you want to and, and, that. and that's what it is. Music's an art. It's subjective. You could like it. You could not. I appreciate you have an open mind. Listen to it. But if you don't like it. Very cool, you know. Let me tell tell me something you're interested in. I would like to listen to it too. Score that. Well, like the assess, you, know? you don't that's have all. to like. But just have fun. <laughs> that, that's the bottom fucking line, man. Have a good time. I don't know just... if you guys caught the set tonight, but we were laying it down pretty heavy. I know I was feeling. Of course it. we caught the set. It's awesome. It too. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what. When it gets like that and all that just shooting at all you, that energy, not just soak it in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And just you know. Yeah. One of the best things is we have this traveling bartender, Scott. That's a wonderful. <laughs> he, he he makes the fun level like way up there. <laughs> like we start off pretty high in the fun level, but then there's Scott, and it should just accelerate. Yeah. Oh, yes. And that's why you just meet peeps and just you know you grow. It's all your family. It's good shit. It's good shit. So so no worries about the scene. We're lucky to have a great God, scene man. in Cleveland. I offered so much. Did I not? College radio, oh, people I just like steal you his. doing the things yeah, that you do. So, and see, and so they always know me by the flag. Really cool. Support Cleveland music! Yeah. <laughs> it's Cleveland team effort. This is how we know where Scott is in the crowd, right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's our finish, he's our finish bartender. That's it. And he's a kid. Alright, fun questions. Fuck the bus. You're on the UK corridor. Welcome to the RTA, Cleveland. We'd hey, like you guys, to ride <laughs> my money. If you guys could create your own alcohol, what would you call it, and what would be in it? <laughs> your own brand. Ooh, I'm a whiskey guy. <laughs> well, you know, I don't think I, I ever... that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I'd be hard to be sober. Oh, That's a I would, I would use a combination of barley and hops, and I would ferment it so that it gets carbonated. <laughs> That's beer. And I would call it... Beer. Beer, <laughs> beer champagne. Yeah. yeah, that's what I would go with. I'm I would call it. it, watch oh. watch for it, because I'm going to market it pretty heavy. Yeah. I would call it, 
I'm in. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, Get some O. Oh, it's a little make, bit of whiskey. I would make some high powered red wine and call it Olathea because you're going to get laid if you drink it. <laughs> as long as you're not drinking alone. Yeah, but well, it really <laughs> Who am I fooling? That's my worst time. Don't leave me alone. And it would have no soul fights so you don't get a headache. <laughs> I would also make one that's only sulfites, like just <laughs> liquid sulfite. Goes with the roofing. Theo, <laughs> why is there no roofing in this? Can you guys oh, describe is. for us the younger generation that don't know crap about music? Are you yet? saying we're old? No. Seriously? <laughs> no. Oh Season. Season. You're I not old. It's had a big Jagger moment. <laughs> Can you guys describe the golden age of MTV for the. Younger de generation no, I, that, that does I not really know. I really can't because I was like two <laughs> when it premiered. Uh, <laughs> really, I'm not that old. <laughs> you're right not old. Scared, so. Wait, you we got that chair so I can sit down for a second. <laughs> well, you know, way back <laughs> when. This is yeah, I remember. I, video I, video the radio I remember <laughs> when I was like ten in and TRL. Wait, you're having a big ball Wow, you can totally request this live. You screwed up. Actually, this is this is. It really blew my mind. Um, no, no, this is this is what we know about MTV. They played Headbangers Ball at like 2 a.m. and we all tuned the fuck in. Right. Oh, yeah. that's 11 awesome. o'clock on, on Saturday nights for these young pups. <laughs> he would know. Yeah, I would know. Gray hair tells I don't really recall the golden age of MTV. Oh, you know what I do remember is the Faith No More video because I was like four years old. When that fish is dying at the end, they're uh, epic. <laughs> and I was always yeah, like, dude, yeah. did they really kill that fish or what? That's the one thing I remember from and Rob Zombie paint and yeah. set. TV. Well, and, oh. and, and now it's Rob all YouTube, Zombie. so... You guys mark my word, guy. dire straits. Yeah. Money for nothing. <laughs> the golden age of everything up until what it is now. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> now. Next question. Now what do you YouTube. recall about the Holocaust and Moses? <laughs> 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 I think if I was the game VH1 time. Two. Well, she's got this strange thing where she's 22, so she thinks she's 12, uh, so. Uh, <laughs> well, I, think, I think she thinks she's 22 and thinks we're 50. <laughs> no, no, no. Alright, here's what your best shot. What you got? What will be the soundtrack to your porno? <laughs> oh, my song. For well, Sully, yes. can't answer. Sorry. <laughs> for Sully, it would be "It's Raining Men." Wait a minute. I'm gonna say this, I really want to know. For Jake, it would be "Man, I Feel Like a Woman." By the <laughs> Mine would be <laughs> "Like a Rock," that Chevy song. No, 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 no. Tom Jones, baby. For you. Oh. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. I think your, one of yours, Rick Astley. That's true. Give <laughs> yeah. yeah. you a like verse. Like no, it's one of his B sides. <laughs> 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 Right. Mine would be like a White Snake album. <laughs> and, I would, That's cool. and I would mimic the Tony Katane part on the whole thing. And now we have a new knock soundtrack yeah. to it. Yeah. You know, like Apex 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 Predator. I'm sorry. That's... <laughs> he likes to finish early. Yeah. Very cool. Alright. You guys obviously have, obviously have many different musical backgrounds. Explain how you incorporate that into all the three. We'll oh grab God, a wall of, of music and we can throw all ourselves at it and whatever sticks we go with. Like giant flat paper. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of helps while we're writing together, honestly. I mean, um... I think the, yeah. the different, like, backgrounds, the different things that people like make it more interesting because we all got open minds so somebody yeah. brings something to the table and they're like, okay, it doesn't sound like that, doesn't sound like that. Okay, what can we do with this, you know? So, I don't know, I, I think it makes it more um, interesting for us and, like, it's an interesting More melting pot. It yeah, melts yeah. together so easy, actually. It's, yeah. it's, it blows my mind how easy that is. Yeah, it's just it's, it's fun in that sense for sure. Open mind, that's the way to be. Just yep. open mind. Of course. Because like we're metal, but I don't know. Are we melodic metal? Are we hard rock? Are we heavy metal? I don't know. Metal. We're just metal. metal. There's something yeah, yeah, we're metal. Yeah, we're thrash. We're thrash. Yeah, yeah. hey, I've been know. called metal core. We've been called yeah. They do the trooper. Like every. Uh, <laughs> I'll end it right there. They do the trooper. No, no, no. Chris did that one sergeant one time. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually a specialist. Yeah, <laughs> Wonderful. And we don't know if he was on the ground or not. You know. yeah. I'm not sure if the I support, I support our troops. Oh, awesome. Awesome. What does that even mean? <laughs> you don't know. You'll find out later. Yeah. <laughs> she did a trooper. Uh, Alright, being said. You need your whole trooper. Yeah. yeah. Being local Clevelanders, what is your favorite activity and or restaurant in the Cleveland area? Drinking. Oh, well, Drinking. Riding motorcycles. 
Wait, what was that restaurant we had? Buffalo Bob. Did you go to Brazza with us? Yeah, I've been to Brazza. Yeah, Brazza, Brazza, Brazza is pretty cool. awesome. <laughs> Brazza is cool. Being a metal guy and a guy guy. What do we love? Okay, we love meat. Is that what you said? <laughs> 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 okay, I was trying to shut him up, but it's. Go ahead and pray me out of that one, man. It's your son. He's got to talk to the dogs. We love dogs. You go, girl. I like going to the Metro Parks and riding my bike and hiking. And I like the one corner stand in the West Side Market where she's got these really cool spring rolls and her kids serve you. I don't know what it's called, but it's like two fifty for two of them to get to. Stop on that. Oh, I gave everything from the, really the vendors out the streets that sell the chili dogs all the way to nice restaurants like Red Out, Beachwood, you know, and everything in between. Hey, well, we're from Cleveland. Anything Michael Simon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Lola, B-Spot, whatever. Love it all. Awesome. All right. That's a good question. I have all his cookbooks, too. Strangest places you guys have ever woken up. I'm going yeah. to plead fifth on that one. Yeah, <laughs> uh, fifth of what? Nobody wants to answer this question. Yep. Okay, yeah. next one. Yeah. I'm going to take a pass on that yeah. one. <laughs> on top of a washer and a dryer that we're running. <laughs> Who knows how they got the stuff in the dryer or the washer? Dryer, right? One of the winter <laughs> one top loads. I don't know how, but I was on it and it was running. Okay, next question, please. <laughs> All right, your fans have renamed a sexual position with one of your song titles. What the hell did they just do? What song title? Seven Deadly Sins, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go with Feel the Earth. What about, what about Torn Parts? <laughs> <laughs> It's not Pavlov's Hellhound, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, turn to Bert Benson! All right, there. Ring a bell with the Hellhound drools. Pretty aggressive. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That's going to be my final title. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. But for the porno, it's open your eyes. No, it's open your eyes. Wow. That's good. That's good. <laughs> nice one. Interesting. We can work with that. What you got? What got you in interested in music from a youngster and actually just a youngster? Like a toddler. <laughs> Young like, snapper. I would say it was the big troller that we had growing up. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> the old record player. What kept your music focused over the years? The guitar. Okay. This guy. This guy. <laughs> I would, I, guitar. I was a guitar player before bass. No, for, for me it was like I had two older sisters and they were all in the like Zeppelin and Black Sabbath and I just remember being like really little in like, elementary school and like stealing their records and playing it and just moving out of the And I just always loved it, you know, once and I, so that's what I gotta say is my older sister introduced me to a lot of the cool classic Those rock band. Remember when they had albums? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, album. Dude, I remember looking at her playing Jam like, Jam album. Like, it was the artwork, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kill them all oh. when it came out. I was like, oh, check that yeah. out. Yeah. Smash your puppets. Yeah. 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 Smash them. Yeah. Next question. I listen to a lot of Motown on, like, 45s. I like Motown. No, 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 seriously. Like, my mother, like, her generation. I remember sneaking in my grandmother's basement, and there was an old 45 player. Like, nobody, nobody, any... Like 10 years younger than me would know what one of those is. Um, and I would listen to like Motown and Beatles and stuff, and I remember that. Yeah, we talk about it. But it's still Metallica that kept me really. For sure, for sure. But old Motown, man. You should get down. Super silly, get down. What are your upcoming works for this, the rest of the summer and on? We're gonna practice jokes. Upcoming things. Well, we're thinking about booking a party at your house. Awesome! <laughs> Dude, you already <laughs> said me, Casa, Sue, Casa. I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, saying. Christmas house. <laughs> we're well, good in July, right? July. Yeah, yeah. Some weekend in July, we'll be at Brianna's. Yeah. No, we're, start, we're starting to tour regionally. We're hitting some things in Detroit and Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. And, and branching out. Columbus. And, Columbus. Yeah, Columbus. yeah. And so, just trying to get out there and meet a lot of people and doing our little grassroots thing and just playing to people who. I want to hear good metal, you know, and just have fun. So, so hitting a lot of good shows and also writing new material. Because we're working on the next album already. You, you guys heard one song tonight that tore it apart. <laughs> Not on any album yet. But we're already writing the next album right after we release this album. Yeah. 
So, you guys are that. like awesome. <laughs> there's all kinds of music still that's laid on the table. We just gotta, you know, it's like there's never a shortage of anything, you know? <laughs> yeah, we have pictures full of music. You guys, oh, do you guys have any unknown hobbies? Like, are, are any of you math whizzes or chemists? Oh, that's <laughs> such a good question. Yeah, that's really good. Oh wow. my god, I can talk about pottery now. <laughs> no, no. How is your secret? No, no. no. Not really. I just cook. I cook. I cook a lot. So. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I bake, actually. <laughs> I like chocolate. I'm real big in the muppetry. Uh, make them at home, mainly out of mops. The weird thing is mop they're all naked. Yeah, Moppetry, I know. Well, a Muppet is a puppet in a mop. That's where they came up with Muppet. It. Muppet. Muppet. <laughs> but yet he still puts no clothes on their private areas. Which is weird. I use one strand of the mop. Uh, he's also our comedian. <laughs> Alright. What are three ways to help improve the music community? Buy more of our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the question? I missed the question. What are, what are three more ways to help improve the music community? Support each other. Don't more. be a dick is the number one way. <laughs> no douchebag. Seriously. Allowed. Too many people are hung up on Egos. stuff that they shouldn't worry about. Just do your thing, have a good time, be good to this person, be good to that. If you don't get along, it's alright, move on. You know what I mean? So don't be a dick is the number one thing. Two, Real quick, paint over there. Two, Stay don't up. count on Facebook. <laughs> don't count on Facebook. You know, meet people, talk to them, yeah. get out there, give flyers out at shows, do things at record stores, which I put up stuff in exchange, by the way. And uh, don't 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 rely just on that and sit in front of your computer. And talk to people, because that's what it's all about, the live. I want to have that personal yeah. interaction. Yeah. And the third thing to improve the music scene is anytime I get free drinks, I perform way better, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Until a certain point. <laughs> Dramatically. Yeah, yeah. Don't take much. Maybe well, like it, going to a show, you're up at the, we were just talking about this. You got your phone in your hand, you know, you see this young person, he's got their, their smartphone and they're playing around on their phone and they're standing right at the front of the stage. What is that person getting out of it? Nothing. You know what I mean? Apparently so, sweet cell it. service. Right. <laughs> Five bars, right? You know, it's like going to a show. Why do you go to a show? You know? It's like, yeah, watch music. music. You know, have a good time. Hear the music. Be in the moment. So live. Live. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like Chris was saying, meet people. Meet you know? people. Yeah, and don't be a dick. And don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. So did you say 17 ways to improve the... <laughs> we're good. Sure. We got five. 14 of them were don't be a dick. <laughs> There's always room for improvement. Always room. Well, when you say like three ways, we think 10. And we're like the first nine are don't be a dick. And then it's <laughs> When you say three ways, I think it's something else. So. Right, Next well, question. It's not gay if there's a girl involved. How important is band responsibility to you guys? Well, obviously it's very important. Very? What is your definition of band responsibility? Practice it's when own. the band's responsible. <laughs> and that doesn't include drinking. Because we don't know how to be responsible. No, we, we all show up for practice. We keep a pretty tight practice schedule. We all show up for shows. I mean, we uh, when we have to learn covers, which we have to do every once in a while, we don't really practice them together until the show before. I mean, we got to do shit at home. Um, it's it's important that we show up and we know what we're going to do every time. I mean, it's um, yeah, pra practice, practice is serious, and uh, we like to dick around and have a good time. But um, it's it's very uh, professional as well. And there's so. no, it's nothing set in stone. It's like kind of like the unwritten rule, just because we all know what we want to do. So it's like anything. Like if you want to do it, you're going to show up there and you're going to do it. And you're gonna work and effort in on your, on your own back end. Like, you guys put a lot of work and effort into coming tonight, bringing your gear and stuff. You wanted to do this, man. And yeah. That's, that's right, kick-ass I mean, and it's much appreciated. So, you know, that's the effort. And, uh, you know, everything. everybody has their own things that they're great at behind the scenes, too, and in front of the scenes. So, it makes a cool yin and yang for everything that goes around. We, we exploit each other very well. There's a lot of um, passion behind it, too. You know, yeah. and I think that passion that drives it, you know, for music and the love of it, creating it, you know, kind of throws us the side of, okay, since we're all feeling, you know, really strongly Spiritual about orgasm. this, <laughs> yeah, we're feeling really strongly yes, about this, we're <laughs> putting so much effort into it, you know, why wouldn't we take this you know what I mean? But like it was already said, you know, having, having a good time with it, you know, it's all good. Yeah, there's a fine line between practice and rehearsal. <laughs> practice you do at home, rehearsal you do when you get together. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. If you have to lay down the law for someone that you're responsible, it's not working. Then. People just need to know you're doing this because you want to do this. 
you know, that, that, that never works and it, and it shouldn't be that way, you know, you should be open and honest and you're putting four thousand dollars a you're year. You're the highs and the lows, you know. In a car, you know, traveling, you know, two hundred miles to get paid fifty bucks if you're lucky. You know, bust your rear in the process. Why do you do that? You know, must you be like it or it. something. You know, they really really want that fifty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they want that fifty bucks. <laughs> 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 fifty bucks is buying me a twelve pack, damn it. Actually, you're lucky. Twelve packs are you turn. Yeah, actually, what the hell. actually, it's crazy because I always felt like really fortunate that you get to do something that's totally your own and totally unique and totally from your own soul. Not a lot of people get to do something in life that they just love. They have a lot of things that pull them in different ways, you know. And, and that's cool. You know, sometimes you're saying that that's all I want to do. I just want to work my business. I want to do this or whatever. But when you decide to do this and you really want to do this, you find a way and, and you figure out your role and responsibility. And it just needs to be that way. It's kind of like the unsaid word because, you know, there's no crack in the whip. You do what you want to. You're done. You don't have to crack the whip. Everybody gets it. I like crack in the whip sometimes, but that's different. <laughs> trails back to our alternate definition of three ways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. The only three ways if she's in Isn't charge. that with like chili and a hot dog or something? Three ways? It is. Yeah. Thank you. And then you get some Applebee's. Like a dirty bag. As a band, what is your favorite song to perform together as a band on stage? Or do you each have separate ones that you like to perform? That's a really good question. I'm curious to hear everyone's answer. Sometimes <laughs> since I like Hellhound myself. Yeah. I'm with you on that one. Seven Deadly Sins. I'm Seven Deadly Sins too. Because when when they wrote that song, like I heard it immediately what it, what what it was about, and I remember finishing the words and like sending Jake a message. I'm like, I think I'm Dude, bordering and cheesy, but I fucking really like this song. <laughs> and it just uh, is honestly like how I felt, you know. And that's a love song to the fans. It's our crashing ecstasy together, you know. It's just about doing your thing, man. Like kind of like Metallica's Bad Rain, but our own version, you know. So yeah, I do love that one. That one is always fun. If we're to write a love song, it's not going to sound like Wait by yeah. White Lion. It's going to sound like <laughs> Ten Daily Sins. That's our love song. What's your favorite song? Open your eyes. Oh. Open your eyes. Just got, it. got the Lita. Got a little bit of the Lita Ford sound. And then she nails it. She gets in there. And then she punches me. <laughs> 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 she likes it. <laughs> Glad she's not donkey punching anyway. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. moving on. <laughs> what advice would you have? Well, what advice would you give to a child who is into music but their parents are not supportive? The parents want them to be what you know. Do it anyway. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Hey, it's better than weed. All right. <laughs> Even though you still have to listen to your parents, you still have to go your own way. Yep. Just you know, and you're really going to define yourself anyway, so cool. you're going to get to that point where you're, you're going to resent that, so just do your own thing. We yeah. all did. My yeah. parents were minimally supportive, but at least they had a little bit of support. <laughs> and some people here probably had more support. I know your parents are yeah, awesome. My parents are awesome. Yeah, his parents, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bought our whole album on iTunes like it wasn't nothing. Yeah. 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 Right, right away. For saying he's going to worship the devil when I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the stereotypical stuff. They're well, like, I know where you're from, like, so no, I understand fine. that. Yeah. And now he worships the sun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's yeah. that, the Egyptian god? Right? Just, just do it. If you feel something yeah. in you, just do it. And that's, you know, a good thing to do. Express yourself. I think that's more yourself. of a parent issue, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because if the parents can't support their kid, or, you know what I mean, doing what they believe that they want to do, what the hell are they thinking? Oh. All right, dude, you heard it first. You can totally jam. Yeah. <laughs> jam it out, man. You're our backup, right? <laughs> start learning. Let's start learning. We need, it. We need someone to replace him. I can him play violin. Right. Yeah. 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 Right would, like, would you guys like to give a shout-out to any previous band or current band that you guys, you know, know and respect? Of course, everyone respects everyone. Megan did. We're supposed to. <laughs> yeah, that one time I was in Nevermore. <laughs> Hell yeah! Band shout outs, go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, start with Chris. Of course, Cellbound and Wretch. My bros in Cellbound and my Woo! my men in Wretch, so. And, you know, just anybody That's who's hard. playing this shit, yeah. metal, do it! Mm -hmm. I have to say, Dose. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, Dose! Dose! Wait, dose. put it back on me! Dose! <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> Another man! We had about a nine there. So like, <laughs> <laughs> Keep your eyes out for that one. Uh, Bloodshot Sunrise. Did you say dose? <laughs> oh my god! I need a dose! Oh my god! Some dose! <laughs> dose! 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 dose. 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 Alright, now we've pumped dose enough. Moving back on to Olathea. I'm the man for talking to. Okay, Black Mountain. Well, that's old stuff, but I mean, anybody that's jammed with us, to me, really, it's hard to ping pong on just a few, because then I'll forget 20 that I should have so, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, for, for a yeah, short like I period, yeah. a yeah. lot of bands have yeah. played with us. Creedius, hell yeah! You know, we've had a lot of bands play with us, and I'm giving them a shout-out, because they were cool. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, don't play that live. <laughs> I'm a Corpic Lahani guy. What cut? <laughs> Space monkey. I like. Oh, yeah, yes. Like Space monkey. Space monkey. Heavy cool. devil. But there is. Bring it. Yeah. Bring it. Bring your sound. Bring it. Don't care. If it sounds good, huh? we'll listen to it. Yeah. We'll come. We'll follow. Yeah. At, at the Corporate Lani show, even though I didn't wear their shirt, uh, but then suffer. Great, awesome show. Great guys. I'm half Finnish. Finnish flag follows everywhere. Every show. Awesome. Awesome. I don't black. Yeah. <laughs> Who would you guys love to open for and no not your legs? Oh. Wait, what well, was for? No not your legs. Wait. Oh, oh, oh my god, that's awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's awesome. That's awesome. Say it again. Who would you guys love to open for and no not your legs? Not your legs. Uh <laughs> open your <Or>, eyes. <laughs> uh, even though it's impossible, I'd have loved to have opened for Pantera. Oh, you can't give what's on me growing up. I obviously yeah. can't do that, but that, that would have been Dude, badass. By the we time go on the hot tub time machine. There you go. <laughs> that would have been fucking. Amazing. I hope that's not her fucking business model. God, I hope that's not her <laughs> I'm working You're on the electronics machine. right now. Oh, who's, the, who's not a douchebag? You know what? I'll tell you what. Me and Jeff went to see Hell Yeah. Yeah. Right after our CD release. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you. One thing that I didn't mention on any social media or anything was that they were on the side of the stage checking out the local acts. I'd love to open for a band that's into checking out the local acts, you know, just to... And that, that was cool. I've never seen that. With Vinnie Paul, Chad, were on the side of the stage, like, eh, cool, you know? Never seen that shit. So, hell yeah, you're on my list. You're going to send that right to him, right? <laughs> Oh, all, all I want is Tony Iommi to just walk out and go, Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. A shred. What are ladies going to play first? <laughs> like, like I, this much I just, you know, He's Tony like Iommi. Automatic shot girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. right. Awesome, Don't awesome. Alright, second to last question. Okay. How do you customize your instruments? And for you, I have a separate question for you. Okay. I'm actually having a. I pick up my custom guitar on Sunday. Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, I just put EMGs in them. <laughs> I also make them Goddamn sound like Cleveland. trains. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the sounds of Cleveland that you hear. Well, you know, we weren't pretty much humping the tracks. <laughs> I mean, where we are, I can feel the freaking train. Be louder inside. In my colon. Which is weird. Not for me. <laughs> Step out of frame for them. You know, all I do for my instrument is I use MJC Ironworks strings, and that's all I use. By the way, your level is really nice. Justin Wise, nice I used to throw EMGs in the guitar ever by. Yeah. No. I heard Jack shit. Uh, okay. No, <laughs> I can hear it. I played a live backing track, right track live. It's not really me, I'm air guitar. Justin Wise, I was not even paying attention to what he was saying. I my kit, but, you know, if I can get a nice custom kit, you know, when I check them out, they're pretty pricey. You know what I mean? The woods. Yeah, but you're playing a classic. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Hunter. You guys rock. <laughs> but you are playing a much sought after kit. I mean, I, I love the kit. There's no problem with it. You know what I mean? You can't Great buy them kit. anymore. 
it's a great kit. Um, I've got no complaints, you know, but for me, you know, I've had a kit for a really long time, and I've had that kit for probably six or seven years. But life, you know, kind of goes away. And the only People time I kind of bring it back is when I put new heads on it. You know, I'd yeah. love to get a couple small, makes a great kit. There's tons of custom uh, companies that are making great drum kits, but they're all like this, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's, 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 it's enough money to buy cymbals that I crack every month, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Welcome to being broken, musically inclined. <laughs> For me, I love Sennheiser. I use Sennheiser wireless and I got some custom capsules in my microphone because I wanted to get some certain highs and lows with it and just roll with it. My question for you is, what do you do before a show to warm up your vocals? And how do you maintain that after the show? Uh, you gotta coat your throat. That's a joke. No, no. <laughs> no, that's really, that's really a good question. Well, there, there is a couple things I do. I'll tell you, first off, if you're gonna go to a recording studio, the best thing you can do is eat these potato chips and have a can of Coke. But something that does with like, coating your throat, and this is a trick that Dolly Parton and Arch Enemy and all these people do, you know, so that's definitely like a big thing. So I had some coke in here with other stuff. <laughs> so, um, but really, like, honestly, what I'll do is like the best thing you can do is just like be relaxed and have fun, you know, just know you're, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen and roll with it. But what I will do is like, as I'm checking out the other bands that are playing before me, I'll do some like humming and warm ups and stretch my mouth and stuff while I'm watching them, you know, and that kind of gets you warmed up and does what you need for your vocal cords a bit. So, because we don't always have the luxury of, you know, be in an isolated area, which I wouldn't want anyway. I like seeing other, any other bands. So, that's it. Mm -hmm. so. Awesome. Awesome. Now, I'm going to have... Have you guys come over here and you guys are gonna ask us questions? <laughs> oh, for real? Oh. Why? Yeah. Why? What have I done to deserve this this week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. You guys are amazing, anyway. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. oh I can do this all day. All right, get a little closer to the camera. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. dialing it in, man. There for you go. sure. For right sure. Alright. All right. Go ahead, Ron. Oh, all right. So, what drives you to keep doing what you're doing, supporting the scene and being out there like you are? This all started from me going to shows up at Peabody's right after high school. Well, right after school. Peabody's, yeah. I was in high school, seeing all the local bands and looking around going, where the fuck is everyone? These people are spilling out, they're spilling their guts, they put time and effort into what they do, and they care about what they do. Everything is not about the money, it's about your passion. And if you can make money from your passion, awesome. If, if you're just doing it because you love it, fuck yeah. There, there is no right, you know, just you play what you feel. Now I know this is weighing on Steve's mind really heavily, but why does he have such nice boots? I have those boots. That's why he got beads. If a, if a woodchuck could chuck wood, how much wood? The, cr the correct answer is seven. Not a one chuck would chuck all the wood that woodchuck could chuck. Woodchuck could chuck wood. Yeah, that's, that's not seven. Yeah, all right, I, I got one question for you guys. I just want to know what is your favorite local Cleveland band? Okay, and I know it might be more than one because maybe there's not just one favorite. And uh, what's your favorite venue now that Peabody's is gone? Our favorite venue, by far, would have to be the Foundry. Huge shout out to them. They're amazing, amazing staff, bar, sound, lights, what have you. They have good fries. Yeah. They have good fries. Yes, they do have good fries. <laughs> no, the burgers, right? Fries, burgers. Have you had a Sully burger? No. You May we have a Sully burger? No, oh, Sully burger. Wait for my mail. That's our favorite locals. That's no, not a fair question. Asking for one isn't fair for us, and asking for 20 isn't fair for the rest of the city. It, it's just not fair. Uh, to be you know fair, what? There are way too many to choose from. You're right with that in different genres and different things. So yeah. That's cool. I'll, I'll, let, give you I'll let you off 10. the hook. I will give you our top ten. Okay. Uh, 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 we're being totally real here. 
Being real is the best way to be. Absolutely. Top 10. First, Ventana. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bad props to Ventana. Tommy they Church. Ass. They kick ass. My baby, Tommy Church. Scott Beck, we love you. Um, second would have to be Malice213. Good dudes. Good dudes. Really good dudes. Our third would be us getting shot, not from Tony Kennedy. Uh, <laughs> Mad Profs is Hellbound, of course. Mad Profs. Thank you Back very much. Day. Thank Back you, girl. Fucking Hellbound. Thank Mad you, girl. Props. Um, our fourth would have to be the Witch is Dead, who's been Bloodsuckers Anonymous and and Dead Vinyl. They've been a growing progress. They're pretty awesome. Check them out. They fucking rock. Chris Sullivan, you rock. Um, Thank you. <laughs> That's my real name. Ah, cool. Oh my god. Um, Scott, where, where's our other Scott? How's the bar? Our fifth would be Bound <laughs> by Fate, it. of course. Bound by Fate? Bound by Fate, of course. Oh. Five. Um, shit, this is hard. <laughs> um, shit. Well, you don't have to go to ten if you don't want to, because I know the list is endless. <laughs> Number so. six would, be have, would have to be Cholera. Bill Sekulvik, you guys, of course, the founder comes up again. You guys fucking rock. Seven will be our newly found favorite band, Olithia. You guys fucking rock. Olithia! Woohoo! It takes a killer band to create fans just after one or two songs. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. Thank you. Uh, you guys Thank you. put talent in everything you do. We love you guys. We love how you guys have grown from numerous other bands into one. That's fucking awesome. Thank you. Thank guys. you. You guys fucking Give rock. Her a week and I know, I know. <laughs> I'm thinking I gotta do that little rap signal, you know what I mean? This is awesome though, this totally looks like cops video. Like when you're watching cops. Alright, we're gonna jump in there with you guys, alright? Ready? Let's do this together. Alright, alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Great question. Thank you guys. Oh, support Cleveland Metal Scene! Support your locals! Yeah, that's, that's number right. one! That's number one! Support your locals! That's right! Thank you guys! Thank, oh, thank you guys! Thank, thank you! you. Alright, we're gonna get a good picture with your girl here. Support the locals! Okay. Red! Awesome. Nice. <laughs> thank you, hey, thank you so much, girl. Thank you. We appreciate your time and doing Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Hey, you guys are awesome, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you too for 